Hello and welcome to the third tutorial on the Wavefront Animation Studio series. In this tutorial we're going to demonstrate how you can create a simple animation quickly using the controls we demonstrated to you in the previous tutorials. So we're just going to load our model now, Al from the desktop as normal. Now it's going to move into good position. Now I'm going to add a, a frame here so that we've got something to work with. And we're going to concentrate on the right leg first. Going to move it into a position we're happy with, rotate it backwards slightly. Now, if you've got more time on your hands, then you'll be able to create more complex animations. Uh, we're just going to do a quick, a quick basic animation of our running, um, which should only take a few minutes to demonstrate to you how you can do this really quickly and simply using Wavefront Animation Studio. I'll get it in the right position. Make a slight adjustment there. Right now, I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to move to the other side on the left leg. <clears throat> I'm not going to move his arms for now. I'm just going to demonstrate the leg movement motions for walking or running. Let's rotate this slightly. And once I'm happy with that, I shall add another frame. And now we have the starting frame, the new position we've put him in, and then we'll move back to the frame we're going to work with. I'm going to move the leg to the left leg to the position that the right leg was in, so we can um, demonstrate how to do this running motion. And once I'm happy with that, I shall I'm just going to move that left lower leg down a bit as well. As you can see, quite quite quick and simple to do. Slight adjustments there. And move on to the last leg. Now in a, in a moment, once we've uh, demonstrated this animation, you'll you'll notice that um, when I add interpolated frames, which are middle frames between, to create a smoother motion for the animation, when you create the first, when you have such big jumps between the um, the positions of each of the parts, you'll have to make some slight adjustments to each of the interpolated frames. But then after you've done that, it'll be straightforward to add as many as you like in between them without any problems. Let's get this just right, bend it slightly. I think I'm happy with that. So now we have the starting position and the two new frames. Now I'm going to create an interpolated frame between the starting position and the, the first frame. And you'll see the legs will jump up slightly so I need to make slight modifications to that to bring them in line I think I'm happy with that so as you can see that creates a more smoother motion So now with the last frame, I'm going to do the same back to the first frame and move the legs down. And the right leg as well. You can make slight adjustments if you're unhappy with any of the positions that um, the interpolated frame does create initially, but then as you can see, as I add more and more of the interpolated frames, it creates a more smoother motion. So you see here, one, two, three, four, five. And play that. As you can see, no adjustments needed to be made. And that is our running.
very simple, very quick. I'm just going to rename this animation to run and I'm also going to save it to the desktop so we can demonstrate the attach and detach feature of the studio. So I'll call it run. Now if I detach the animation we're back to square one and attach the animation I just saved and we can play. That concludes this demonstration and tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it.